Welcome back, guys. We're messing around with a Mustang some more. Got a few little things going on here. For one, I realized that I need to regap my plugs. And also, I just wanted to kind of check out what things look like. And they're actually pretty dirty uh, from the race gas that I'm using. So this may be a little hard to see in the camera, but the spark plugs are orange. They're actually more orange. I've been soaking these. And uh, the reason is the MMT, the manganese that's in the race fuel, it's a lead replacement additive. And uh, it allows us to get better performance, uh, more knock resistance out of the fuel. So I pulled these plugs out. We're going to clean them up. Um, we're going to regap them a little lower than they are today. So guys, basically what I have here is a bore scope that is Wi-Fi to my phone. It's got a little light on the end of it. So... That's our combustion chamber. You can kind of see the piston. But it looks pretty good. I mean, you know, a little orange from the race gas. Let's try the next cylinder. Oh yeah, this one's all the way up. <laughs> That's like me hitting the piston. Again, you know, see some orange from the race gas. That gives us a much better view. I don't know, looks all right to me. I don't see any chipping or anything real obvious. Now we'll check out this last one on this side. Yeah, a little varnish, you know, a little bit of the orange. So these plugs have been soaking a little. I'm going to clean them up a little. They've been pretty gross from the race fuel. That's looking much more like a normal spark plug now. Before it was pumpkin orange. You'll, you'll see it on the next set I pull. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So, so these plugs need to get regapped to... Uh, uh, 0 point, uh, 0 0.028 inches or 0.7 millimeter. And right now it's about 0 0.32, I would say, 0 0.032, I would say. So we're going to use this, this tool to kind of bend it. What you want is for it to really, like, almost catch. I would say that's about right. If we look and compare it, you can see this original one is, is bigger. So guys, if you've never gotten spark plugs out of an S550, maybe this is your first time doing it, you might wonder, well, how do I get to that very back plug? And the answer is a universal joint. That's how you get to that last plug. And this is the MMT contamination from the race fuel that I've been talking about. Supposedly it's harmless, but I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. So I've got all four plugs soaking here. I'm going to clean them up in a second. I'm going to put them back on, and then I'm going to load the new Lund And I actually found out what went wrong uh, yesterday. He left a soft limiter uh, at 6,300 RPM. Uh, so that's what I was bouncing off of when I was trying to do my testing. So today I'm going to load the appropriate tune, and we will give 7200 RPM a try, and hopefully we come up real happy with the results. So I just threw the tune file onto my N-gauge, and I'm going to go ahead and load it so we can close this now. I don't need that. So basically, if you've never used an N-gauge, uh, you go to tuning, Low tune. So that's my. So that's going to be my R3 tune that Lund just gave me. We're going to flash it. And I'm obviously not going to film the whole three minutes, but your car will do all kinds of funky things in that time. So I'm going to go take a little cruise and I'll film it on the GoPro. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so I've got the car started, uh, tunes flashed, um, everything seems good. Man, this thing sounds like a beast. I just turned off advanced track, so uh, we'll be able to find another clear stretch and give it a shot. solid runs. I was adding four degrees of timing across the board. Um, I think everything's beautiful. I think uh, the fueling looked on point. We're going to look at the log a little later. And um, hopefully Lund gets back to me with a time to go on the dyno. 